for attending this conference. 292 students representing 20 schools. I'm delighted that ISB is able to contribute in its own small way to this noble goal by providing this opportunity for overseas and local delegates to participate in this conference experience. To invite special guest dancers from a local primary school. We in BNG are pleased to continuously support the Borneo Global Issues Conference organized by the International School of Brunei. Uh, having seen the scale of the conference and the amount of logistics that it must have taken to put this together, is uh, what a tremendous achievement this conference First introduce is. Monkey World to you for those who aren't aware of the work that we do and give you a brief background on the park and our rescue work and then talk about the f effects of deforestation and the primate species that we have at our park. Her Royal Highness Paduka Suri Pengiran Anak Istri Pengiran Anak Sarah Binti Pengiran Saleh Abrahaman to the stage. guests, teachers, parents, students, and of course, to all of the delegates attending this year's 6th ISB Borneo Global Issues Conference. I would now like to invite representatives from all 20 schools to come up on stage. First of all, Bangkok Patana coming here from Thailand. Thank you very much, Windermere St. Anne from the UK, Malaysia, Sabah, Kinabalu International School. Next school is also from Sabah, Suri Insan, Ching, Malaysia, Lodge International School, United World College, Southeast Asia. Coming here from Singapore, Sekolah Menengah Saidina Ali, Sekolah Menengah Saidina Hussein, Sekolah Menengah Saidina Hassan, Sekolah Menengah Rimba, Sekolah Menengah Sultan Muhammad Jamalul Alam, better known as Samja, TE, Pusat Tingkatan Elma, Tak Duli, Pengiran Muda Al Mutatibila, Institute of Science, Paduka Seri Begawan Sultan, Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin College, better known as SOAS, Sekolah Tinggi Perempuan Raja Istri, Sekolah Menengah Pengiran Anak Putri Haja Masna, welcome once again Chonghua School. The next school, Jerudong International School. Thank you very much, Your Royal Highness, for giving consent to a good photo of all sponsors and supporters of ISB BGIC. Uh, BGIC stands for But he has an awesome resolution. It's really fascinating. I, I really love to be here, like being representative of country Japan. Great Barrier Reef is a habitat. habitat. Israel is an urban and democratic state next to the Lebanon, Syria, Jordan. But if, so let, me, let me put this to you in a sort of layman's terms. If a child is raised on terror, <laughs> Discussion. 
and we're talking about sustainable You said something about the sheep, right? Uh, I'm a little bit work uh, as a lots of tourists and we pay lots of money for I agree with everything you're saying, but um, just going back to what Dr. Alice, I think it's worth saving animals that have grown dependent on human aid for small and grown, all touch on the topic of Many, many questions here, all very good and valid points, uh, ranging from bush before the buck. Uh, I think this, this question pretty much sums up many of the issues that are being challenged here. Do we put money, quality of life, our expected standard of living before the natural preservation of our world? just be like, okay, where are they? Put me in a helicopter, off with it. And were much more action, aim-based, they were action. I don't know this, that my park will be around long after I'm gone. In Salva. And next week, when I go back, I will be hosting people from Timor Leste, from Philippines, from, uh, from Indonesia, on what we call the sub regional consultation. This action plan is answering the question of solving a crisis in Darfur. Information. Could the delegate please tell me what's wrong with relocating if it's for the matter of safety of the people? Not making it worse, but ending it. As the settlement of Sudan said, it has been 2,750 days that these Darfur people have been suffering. I think the government would like to point out several flaws in the resolution, uh, especially in uh, Clause 6 or Clause C. If you bring that point up, though, yet. Uh, a question was earlier asked by Brazil, I think, about how, uh, how do you set up a border? I hear that. You see? Uganda. Let me talk about Uganda. Do I clarify on a couple of issues people have had with clauses 3A and 3C, that being the first year of secondary education. These two clauses are intertwined, so therefore, if this resolution was to be followed out properly, then there wouldn't be an issue about the child not reaching the first year of secondary education. It does offer solutions on corruption, which is the actual main issue for causing a rise in trade. Monitors of country borders with strict security regulations and installation of CCTVs will help monitor the police investigation in places where tourists actually do indulge in the sex trade. I would recommend the majority of the people who are coming across the country. Excuse me. This is not a conversation, David. 